Hi, welcome everyone to Everlasting Summer. This is take uh, longer than I was thinking it will take, but here we are with maybe the final episode of uh, Eliana Rooks. I love this music. It felt like I hadn't slept at all. It happened all the time. You just close your eyes and fell asleep. The hour had make uh, several turns. The morning came and you wake up, but it uh, feels like you just blink. I am so wild that I almost uh, broke my jaws and jumped up because of the pain. Something was wrong. Throw not uh, something, everything was wrong. Yeah, we back to my apartment again. Bad ending, but... But, how can that uh, be possible? I began to panic and start to run around my room in the hope of uh, claiming myself down. Physical uh, tiredness can often overcome an emotional one. My head uh, was empty, uh, fear and terror uh, took over my whole being, and some kind of songs was uh, floating my head, mind. Maybe prayer, or maybe just a in shared uh, jump of uh, thought design. If not uh, to flow me down, then at last to distance uh, me from my back. <coughs> it was about half an hour before I collapsed on the floor, exhausted and fixed my eyes on the ceiling. It seemed like I had not gone anywhere. Uh, the old uh, chandelier uh, looked down at me and kindly. With that uh, dusty lamp, uh, the crack in the plaster were in the same places, and the unstuck wallpaper hadn't slipped down even a little. Was it really a dream? But it can't be. It just can't be. I spent an entire week in the pioneer camp. It wasn't definitely there. I remember everything perfectly, from my awakening aboard uh, the bus right up to the depot. Neither uh, dreams nor hallucination can be that real. Somehow I stood up, went to the kitchen, filled a glass with water and returned to the room. The blood was still hammering in my timber, but at last the terror of the first few minutes was gone, or had just uh, taken a break. I concentrated on the last thing I remember, it was the departure from the camp. That night, the bus bounced over the b uh, bombs, the dirty, murky glass beyond which almost nothing was uh, visible, and the pioneers. I'll be absolutely p positive that I would uh, never return, or just uh, didn't think about it. Anyway, I was uh, prepared for our arrival at the district uh, center in the f few hours and was already considering option for my further actions. Or not. Damn it. I roared and bolt on my hair with my strength. I can't remember the last hour and that uh, would merge into uh, monotones uh, mirage as if I drunk uh, Renoi was com uh, completing his uh, painting with roller instead of brush. What is not that bad? Wait a minute. Why would uh, it be bad? On the contrary, everything I uh, is uh, fine. I would uh, even say perfect. I broken free from the goddamn world and return home. The most important thing now is not to end up uh, there again. It uh, might happen, surely it could, but it might not happen as well, indeed, I have uh, nothing to worry about now, everything will be fine, obviously, I was just uh, seeing things, exactly, I was seeing things, it doesn't matter that everything felt uh, that real, something like that just can't happen. I can't uh, claim with all due confidence that it just can't. Modern science claim it's impossible, not allowed. I laughed loudly, and an inner voice tired to stop the verbal uh, diarrhea spotting from my mouth, but it didn't succeed. 
It uh, feels like uh, my speech and thought are spreading to exist on their own independent from each other. My brain promoted me to calm down and try to analyze the situation, while my tongue calmly tried to ease the stress by throwing a new and a new meaning word, meaningful words out of there. Finally, I was somehow able to pull myself together. I pulled the certain open and looked outside the window. The night city looked exactly as the same as it did a week ago. The view brought me my mind back to reality at last to some extent. After all, if everything is now normal and nothing suspicious or supernatural is happening, then wasn't it just a dream? Essentially, there are one, only two options now. I can agree that uh, it was just a dream and calm down. Or I can trust my own feeling and accept that uh, the camp, the boss, and the pioneer were real. Either way, whatever I choose, I uh, won't uh, get any answers. It's funny, I was looking for uh, these uh, answers for the whole week, or at last uh, pretend to, and found nothing. But I broke free from that uh, weird world anyway, and what now? The enigma remains, and the additional questions have surfaced. In the end, I was exhausted and fell into the bed. In a few seconds, I was snoring blessing. Oh, this is the thing that I hate the most about this game. This monologue, they can go for hours. Much time has passed from the moment I came back from Sovenok and a lot has changed in my life. The first week, I was racking my brain trying to summarize in detail everything that had happened, creating graphs and diagrams, waiting to form discussion, paranormal phenomena, I even planned to visit a, a psychic. In the end, it resulted in nothing, just as one uh, would expect. It's uh, not wonder, I just, I, am, I was just a human being. But this event obviously were the affair of a supreme mind. If a caveman found himself in the early 21st century, even he would uh, understand more than me. Well, at first he would think that a cell phone that uh, tra traumatized someone speak a dozen kilometers away by the will of God is a miracle, but one can get used to it. Maybe if he completed uh, secondary and higher te uh, technical education, he would even be able to understand how mobile communication works. It's basic, ex uh, ex exaggerated example, just as uh, unreal as everything I sent. I am unlikely to even understand how it uh, worked or who was behind it and I doubt that I could get used to it, if it's where to happen again. But one question troubled me over since. Why? Why me? What did I or did I not do to deserve this bad or good luck? Sure, in science fiction novel wonder often occur to quite ordinary people, but that was just a matter of chance. But I was absolutely positive that uh, these events have occurred to some reason, just like a random science fiction hero who traveled a thousand years forward in time, leaving him in the wrong time and place. But in the future, no one knew him. Everyone thought that he was just a madman. But in my situation, they were expecting me at uh, the camp. At last, the camp leader was. How should I respond to that? Maybe I was picking out uh, at random to be sedated later on. Even so, the question why not only still stand but rather become even more important. After not finding any significant explanation, I returned to my usual existence. But now, I wasn't just uh, sitting at the computer 24-7, wipe uh, the F5 uh, free of dust, uh, new interesting come into my life, but 
but they were uh, I could uh, tell uh, myself and suddenly I wanted to get high education not to find a job and not because it's necessary just because I remember how much fun I had during the first year of education uh, chatting with the course mate uh, day, uh, days of light hearted uh, youthful a blend of energy that I like so much over the last few years. A truly great man once said, any man who read too much and use his own brain too little fall into a lazy habit of thinking. It's uh, hard uh, to argue with that logic. An ordinary man will not sit around because he is lazy, but because a given subject is just of uh, not interest to him. For instance, I am not interested in a kin thing, so does it mean that I am a slacker if I don't make a couple of a woolly sweater per month? But feeling too lazy to open a book, that's something I can understand. I thought I like reading when I start thinking that I have to get through a huge novel, page by page. And even if it is interesting, even if it is absorbs me so completely that I can't uh, turn away, that part uh, will only come later. For now, all I need is to get a book from shelf and open it, but I feel too lazy. I don't know what exactly influenced me, but about a half of my time, instead of uh, the 5 uh, to 10 percent of, uh, of it uh, from before, I was uh, occupied with something useful. I read, write, study something new, and engage in a sport. At least, I exercise in the morning. Sometimes, I thought that it was uh, the influence of the camp. One can't uh, rule out uh, the possibility for all seven days there I was a participation in social activity, verbal communication with other in amount of that before would have caused terror to several intervenes to me. On the other hand, it's not so easy to change one personality in single week, especially for someone as stubborn as me. But it is easy to point them to in a new direction, show them a uh, girl's life. However, I never believe that it uh, will be possible for me. Anyway, I enjoy this uh, change uh, so much that I tried not to think about the causes. What the hell? Nobody would uh, worry about the why if uh, he managed to hit the jackpot by beating his uh, last pair of tissues. In summer, I re-enroll re at the university and study start in Eto. Time passed, I engagedly attended to lecture and uh, seminar and study for test and examinate with a level of enthusiasm that I wouldn't have expected from myself. I managed to become a part of the group with surprising issue. I thought I was older than most st students, it didn't uh, trouble me. Maybe it's because of uh, my natural immunity to change in my personality. I didn't know for sure. Most likely, the answer is somewhere in the middle. The joy of communication with people lost many years ago returned. It was easy to get along with others. Their problem didn't uh, seem too distant and troubled to me. Normal life, which before I had considered uh, just a great depressing mess, started uh, to shine with a new color. Sometimes it seems to me that I turn into a doll, become one of a billion identical tin soldiers standing in a strange row on shelf in toy shop. But in the shop, apart from the glowing showcase that sparkled with fancy writing, uh, describe a new season offer at the Christmas uh, discounted was a strong uh, storage where all the de defective uh, products were thrown. A teddy bear without bow, a firefighter track in need of a mechanic uh, a transformer who look more like a microwave than a mighty robot, a jigsaw puzzle which some into a troubly post-modern picture. 
My bliss used to be among this broken toys, and while some of them could take a refuge in charity drive or an orphanage, my only fate was being dumb and recycle again. So I couldn't help enjoying such a change in my life. Wow, he in college. Oh, will he meet uh, Juliana here? That will be awesome. It was the last lesson of the hardest subject in the term. Most students didn't like it because of its uh, the difficulty and the hard to understand teacher, I suppose. But I found a kind of pleasure in dealing with the table, graphs, and diagram. Counting the figure by pieces, I arranged them in columns and line in the right order, summing up, uh, subtracting, dividing, and multiply, and use them to get a precise picture of an uh, event. No number could avoid my att attentive uh, gaze. All of them will be captured, collected, analyzed. Each of them will get an index number and placed in their proper column. After its arrival, every digit will be assigned to a bank. Bank, uh, assigned a bank, work a uniform and of duty cloth, and will be sent to perform its discounting task. Some will be digging a trench from nine to five. Some will match, march off uh, to fence uh, the trend, and some will be trying to hit linear. Uh, Regularization on the shooting range. What are you thinking about? Uh, uh, Reluctantly, I stop writing and gaze at my classmate. Take a note on the lecture, as you can see. Oh, just screw it. Just read the workbook afterward. I read the workbook as well. I am always astonished by you. Uh, what's so astonishing? You planning to go first class diploma, aren't you? Never thought of it. Don't tell me you really find it interesting. I remember that just a moment ago I imagined myself in Belize on banner born a lot by a regiment of a digit and couldn't help smiling. Uh, you won't even need all that stuff. Everything will be needed, at least for general de development. The classmate grinned sarcastically. I bet you never read even a single book in your whole life. So what? He asked, challengingly. Just a state of fact, and you are always somewhere up to the cloud. He was right about that. Although I recognize part of my lost uh, social skill, I often slap out of touch with reality, dreaming of uh, something else. You said it is like it's a bad thing. And there's nothing wrong with not a reading book either. A human being can't have even only material need. I said philosophically, mocking him. Oh, you're such a towner, or yawn. The lecture was approaching at the end and began to plan out the rest of the day. Need to buy some grocery and later finish the project and send it to the client, and then I get uh, to write down notes. And then in the evening I can just read and or watch something, unless someone phone or writer to me. There are no argue matter, uh, so I can spare some time for my mate. Oh, five whole minutes to go. Uh, I look at my phone and realize that it is exactly a year after I returned from the Southern Oak Pioneer Camp. My soul felt uh, warmer from such a thought, and I smiled blissfully. It's not often anyone that I recall this event. Obviously, one can't just forget something like that. Those moments of something bizarre and extraordinary that are engaging in my memory forever. Normally, even the happiest. Moment fed and just reminiscence of them remain. Nothing more but the week has been in Savano was different. I remember everything in perfect detail. The terror of the first minute after waking up in the bus. The first day, hard, full of surprises and amazing, uh, cheerful and uh, carefree 
pranks with Juliana. Just take that trick with the ghost and of instant. <laughs> the best Soviet comedian world in Viet. And the pioneer had uh, such experience. They were dying of laughing. It sure would be nice to meet Juliana in real life. Well, she's not always perfect, she hyperactive and she doesn't have any idea about good manner, but one doesn't uh, meet uh, such a sense uh, carefully cheerful and energetic person every often. Maybe she gives some of that energy to me. It uh, make a uh, fact that uh, she had to stay behind even sadder. Of course, it's just a dream, a fragment of my imagination, although you still can worry about a book and a film characters. On laughter and cry with them and feel their pain. Something for me, it seemed that if I had acted differently, the story would have been even more joyful, happier end. However, I am sure that Juliana is happy in that world. I just can't imagine her being upset for longer than 5 minutes. Her optimism will help her to find a way, even in the most difficult situation. I wonder what uh, she will look like uh, when she grow up. The bell rang, my classmate stood and looked at me kindly. Okay, see ya. Can't I grab a note uh, from uh, you later? I have feeling that if we did the, the, the good ending, we will replace this guy with Juliana. We will see. If you had uh, been writing down your own during this lecture, you wouldn't need any. So can I? Okay, fine. Cheers! He smiled and left the lecture hall. Slowly I picked all my exercise book and textbook up to my backpack and looked around the empty hall. For a moment I could almost smell and know in the air, like sea salt in the air on the deck ship. Thousands and thousands of students come here to study, to learn something new or to forget something they used to know. Some slip through the lecture, some write them down intentionally, just like me, but nobody was completely indifferent. Those who didn't care stay home, uh, pulled the curtain across the window and fixed their eyes on the monitor. I sighed, re luxury and left the lecture hall with the firm intention of not wasted this day. Oh, nailed it. Every story has its beginning and its end. Every story has its own outline, support, synopsis, content, a key point, a prologue, and epilogue. And there are no books which, if you read it again, will not uh, reveal a new detail you didn't notice before. Every story has its beginning and the end. Almost every. So, was that the good ending or the bad ending? I love uh, about this uh, g uh, game that it have like you know uh, what's called good message about like the future and do stuff for your life go study live your day and when you think about it there are some good points about Juliana that uh, teach uh, the, this uh, main character something about love life uh, live every moment don't be worried so much about nothing I used to hate Yudana so much, but now I like understand her a little bit more. Not so much more, but a little bit more. She's not that bad of a character. She may be annoying a little bit, but she's a nice. And she adventurous. So she not worry about anything. I can imagine her to be like Indiana Jones or maybe to her. Uh, Lara Croft from Tomb Raider. She will be adventurous. She will do something amazing in her future. What it is, I don't know. Maybe she will be criminal.
So was that the good ending or the bad ending? You got a bad ending. Okay. It was not that bad. When you think about it, uh, Simeon bad ending was really bad. Simeon good ending was bad. <laughs> Sylvia bad ending was... Uh, Sonia, Sylvia good ending was... Mm, yeah, maybe here uh, lies that. Alicia good and bad was very good, very bad. <laughs> like... The end of the spectrum. Sylvia in the middle. Alicia and uh, I mean Lena was in the end of the spectrum. Alicia was both good, but uh, the good Alicia was gooder. Sylvia uh, both uh, okay. I will not say even gooder because maybe her, maybe not her. God was this was two both of them bad. Lena was all the way. All, all the way. Either you manage and happy all your life, or you will be dead. <laughs> it was so much. This is uh, more, I think, like uh, Alicia story. Like, yeah, the bad ending. You get it. Uh, okay. Okay. What have I done? Okay. Uh, we should not do this. But you get it. So next time will be Juliana good ending and thank you for watching, see you next time, goodbye.